was uh, not the worst introduction I've ever had anywhere. Yes. <laughs> Dickhead number one, please. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> uh, pharmaceutical companies have got a fucking con going, haven't they? You know, they prescribe you one thing, and the side effects are so much fucking worse. I've uh, recently found this out the hard way. Oh, not the hard way as the case may be. <laughs> uh, I was uh, diagnosed, I was recently diagnosed with some issues. I was in the doctor's, and she sits me down and goes, Right, James, we're going to give you this. I, need, I just need to run through the list of side effects with you, just so you're aware of what they are. Like, yeah, not a problem. So she goes, Right, so the first side effect is uh, may cause depression. I was like, Well, you're giving me antidepressants? What do you mean they're going to cause fucking depression? <laughs> She's like, just don't worry about it, don't worry about it. The second one is, increase in suicidal tendencies. Yeah, I, I don't think this is how they're supposed to work. I think they're supposed to make me happier. She's like, oh, don't worry, because the next bit's going to explain option one and option two. I got a little bit edgy. She turned around and went, uh, the next side effect is, uh, it can completely kill your sex drive. I was like, Okay, I'm listening even more now. She's like, the second one is, you may struggle to get an erection. I was like, right, I'm, I'm not feeling any more confident about this now. And she went, and finally, uh, you will not be able to cl climax or ejaculate. I was like, well, to be honest, if the first two don't happen, the, set, the third one definitely isn't fucking happening, it's not starting to begin with. So I'm single anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm single, but I just like to point out, I am single by choice. I mean, it wasn't my choice. She, she, she definitely made that, that fucking clear, but <laughs> I'm single by choice nonetheless. Uh, I'm, I'm at that awkward stage of single, where when I go to family events, I third wheel everybody. So it normally results in all my, all my family who are having fun. I've sort of like had to Tom Cruise myself, Mission Impossible style, round the bar when nobody's looking, grab a bottle of vodka off the top shelf, and find a nice corner. While I'm in that corner, I'm also, cry I'm also crying and singing careless whisper to myself. <laughs> yeah, I have a sympathy on that one as well. <laughs> uh, about, about 20 minutes later, my, my one singular aunt in the family will turn up. She's done the same thing, but with a bottle of wine. And now we're both staring at each other to you are you are still the one. <laughs> Nothing gets fucking sadder than looking at us two in a corner, crying our eyes out, singing love songs to each other. It just doesn't work at all. But you know, keep it in the family. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, it's not all doom and gloom. Because we've all got that one uncle, right? The, the one who turns up to the party, he's, he's he's got that little he's got a little bag in his back pocket. So we're now drunk, stoned, we're on the munchies, and we're singing total eclipse of the fucking heart. <laughs> it's so bad. Especially, especially when the rest of the family is up in the, up in the middle of the dance floor doing the fucking time walk. <laughs> don't, don't know where we got body tired from. <laughs> uh, I, I'm really, well, yeah, as you can tell, I'm quite awkward right now. <laughs> uh, but now, when it, when it comes to dating, I am definitely fucking awkward. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with me or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> that I will admit to in public. <laughs> um, but I just, yeah, <laughs> it, I, I just find dating really fucking awkward. Like, I find this easier than like being trapped in a room with someone on their own. Um, but that's one of the last dates I went on, uh, before I get into the story, I would just like uh, ask, ask them a question. We've all been on a date and we've said to a friend, look, if this goes wrong, I'm going to text you, get me the fuck out, right? Huh. We've all been there, right? Yeah. Good, not just me, right? <laughs> so um, I went, went on a date with this girl. We, we were in uh, Weather Springs in Middlesbrough. And... Oh. Luckily, there's one particular. Luckily, Springs in town. One uh, of my mates from school works in there, so I got there a bit. bit early. I said to him, and I said to him, "Look, I'm going on this stair. This is the gist." I was like, "Just keep keep walking by, a bit inconspicuously." I was like, "If you see me blinking more than two times consecutively, that's the signal. Get me the fuck out of here." 
So five minutes into this date, she's planning the second day of possible marriage. So I'm sat there blinking, I'm blinking so uncontrollably, it resulted in her getting on the phone to the par paramedics, because I looked like I was having a fucking epileptic fit. <laughs> Literally, literally for two fucking hours, this dickhead of a friend left me sat there blinking. The paramedics had turned up and strapped me into a fucking chair. I have no idea why I'm being strapped into a chair. <laughs> so the cat carted me off. I'm in the ambulance. She's like, they're like, oh, do you want to come with? I'm like, oh, no, it's fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Slam the door shut. Get around the corner. I was like, mate, do us a thing. Drop me off around the corner so I can go and get my fucking cow. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> this has got so badly. Um... But yeah, I'd I, I, I probably say a lot of my awkwardness when it comes to relationships and stuff is because of my parents. Probably like a lot of us in here, we take a lot of parent relationship advice from parents. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, cheers dad, take care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it actually leads me to a funny story, because literally I was uh, walk, walking out the uh, house and come here, and my mum and dad were arguing about something, I have no idea where the fuck it came from. No, it was the dad should shout, BOY! There's something you can use in your set. The quickest way to a woman's hat is through the fucking back of a pickaxe. <laughs> have you been married for 31 years? <laughs> fucking how? <laughs> well, it was funny because if my mum had been arguing about something, I have no idea. Honestly, God, what the fuck they were talking about. And it was all, all fun and games. My dad's skipping through the house. He's as happy as Larry. He said that. He's singing ding dong and bitch is dead at the top of his fucking voice. <laughs> Halfway up the stairs, all you hear is a FUCK! Chill! <laughs> Sorry. Kill! <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, all I hear is my mum's thunderous footsteps coming through the house because we've got quite a noisy house. And I'm pissing myself laughing at this point because I can already imagine the look on her face. I walk out of the bedroom and all I see is my mum halfway up the stairs like this. Mm. <laughs> Boy, you didn't want to speak to me again, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crease laughing, my dad's trying not to laugh and his back's still fucking killing him. <laughs> uh, I, I had a really weird conversation with one of my friends there. She, uh, she offered to hook me up, pimp me out, I don't know, I'm sure she said, used the term to pimp me out, it was quite weird. <laughs> and she was just like, just so I know, what do you look for in a woman? Now, I thought I'd been hard about it, because there's a lot of different things you can go for. Hair, eyes. Apparently, a pul pulsing consent was not a viable option. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cheers. Thank you for having me.